Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you've been following our YouTube channel or our Instagram lately, you would have seen that we have been doing a lot of traveling. <laughs> yeah, we have so many trips like between August and September and now we're finally home and we're basically gonna be home for the next month without like going on a longer trip. Yes. So we have a little bit of at home time in New York and we're really excited about it because we have so many things that we wanna get done. There's a lot of things that like we kinda have to like go through, plus we like started decorating for fall, but then we didn't like finish. Yeah, so this vlog is gonna be basically just like a at home, catch up kind of like weekly vlog. So I think today, um, I've already been doing some emails and stuff, but I think we're actually gonna go run a few errands because we need to like return something at Target. We need to get soap at Bath and Body Works and Gabby wants to go to Sephora and they're all like in the same kind of like shopping area in Brooklyn. So we're gonna probably go walk there later today. But before that, we need to catch up on work stuff. Like I need to edit a YouTube video. Um, Gabby needs to do like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, actually. I have no idea. I'll figure something out, I guess. There's Maybe definitely I'm something the one I need working. to do. I mean, I, I was working on the Pinterest, our Pinterest all morning, so that's kind of like caught up. I might just like finish with that a bit and like do some stuff for Instagram. Like I feel like we should get some like posts ready or figure that out, but yes. just simple stuff. And I'm definitely gonna make us a yummy lunch, so we'll see. And Rascal is being so freaking cute. Oh my God, bed. he's adorable. We got him so many um, fall cat toys. Yeah, please look at his pumpkin spice latte toy, which he now wants, <laughs> and his little uh, candy corn. Here, baby. You may have loves them. Rasky, are you excited? Mommy's our home. I think he's excited. Because you excited? You he so missed you. us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ignore all the dishes behind me. Gabby's about to do those, and that's only from like this weekend. So it's also our sink is kind of small. But anyway, so I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the like Trader Joe's um, pumpkin items that we picked up the other day because we love doing the like seasonal shops at Trader Joe's. It's like one of our one of our favorite things to do. So the first thing that's vegan that we got is this non-dairy pumpkin oat milk, um, obviously for our coffee. And I'm excited to try that, but we haven't used it yet because I still have like a pumpkin nut pod Ooh, that we've we'll been the using. Pumpkin nut pod, yeah, that's really good too. That's actually not from Trader Joe's. We found that at World Market, but I'm sure you can find it anywhere that they have nut pods, but I it's saw, really good. I saw that you can buy it on Amazon. So we have this. It's like the Pumpkin almond and coconut pumpkin spice creamer. Mm -hmm. The it's nut really pod good. one. You can definitely buy these on Amazon in a pack, but we got it at World Market. It's super good. So we're interested to see if it this compares. one's better or if it <laughs> compares or what the story is. So the next thing we got from Trader Joe's that was vegan is this spicy pumpkin curry. And we actually had this last year when we did our like fall Trader Joe's shop last year and it was really good. And we, it was so good that we like bought it like at the end of fall so we could like keep using it like throughout the rest of the year. So. Really good if you like curry and spicy stuff. Then we got these pumpkin bagels, which I was shocked that were actually vegan because a lot of a lot of times the like fall slash seasonal stuff at Trader Joe's isn't actually vegan, but the pumpkin bagels were. So I was really excited about that, and we had those yesterday, and they're really good. Um, and we also got these. Oh, something's gonna fall. Eek. Okay. And then we also got these um, JoJo's, which are basically like Trader Joe's version of Oreos. That they're also always vegan. Um, so this one is pumpkin flavor, but it has like the cookies like a pumpkin. And then this one's like more like Halloween-y where it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. And then we also got this gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. And we also got this last year. Um, and we like this mix because you can kind of make both like the muffins or the bread and it's also gluten-free. So that's some of the pumpkin stuff we got at Trader Joe's. Now I think we're gonna like do some stuff around the, um, around the apartment. Like Gabby's gonna do the dishes and I think I might start organizing the office a little bit so maybe i'll show you some of that while gabby is doing the dishes i'm gonna clean up the office a little bit because i actually need to work from the office today because i need to edit a youtube video um our fort worth youtube video actually which is probably gonna go up before this video so you probably have already seen it at this point but um and to do that i need to sit at my desk but if you can tell the desk is a mess there's also some things on the floor but i feel like those things are not too bad and too in the way but the desk is kind of crazy so i'm just gonna put some of that stuff away right now Okay, so the desk, looking much better. So I think now um, I'm just gonna work from the desk and then whenever we go to Target or do whatever we're gonna do there, 
I'll let you know and bring you along. So we did get a few things um, at Target and Sephora and what was all the place we went? Oh, Bath and Body Works. So we did get a few things at each place. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something we got at Target, which is Starbucks. It's pumpkin um, almond and oat milk creamer for your coffee. And this one is actually vegan because if you didn't know, the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte is actually not vegan in America. Um, there's like some kind of like dairy in the mixture. So like there's no way to make it vegan even if you like get like almond milk or whatever and like no whipped cream. But this, for some reason, their pumpkin spice latte creamer is vegan, so we got that. Yeah, it makes no sense. But basically, no. you can see we're trying all of the pumpkin creamers yes. like, that are seasonal because Shannon and I love it, and we like making like fancy coffees kind of thing. So then we also got this little like um, pumpkin from the Magnolia. Oh no, this is Threshold actually, which from Target. It's like um, like a braided rattan <laughs> pumpkin, and we actually have a big version of this in our living room. Yeah, that we got last thought. year. So we Shannon was like, one. "I'm gonna get the small one," basically. Um, what else did we get? We got this um, tomato basil soup. It's like, it's like such a random like Target haul, but yeah, this is so um, my favorite tomato basil soup because it's vegan, obviously, but it's also really, really good. Yeah, we just got plain rice because we were completely out of rice. Yes. We, we got, got um, apple cider vinegar because Gabby wants to pickle things. <laughs> yeah, I want to make homemade pickles. I made it for Shanna once and she ate all of it, so I'm like, I'm definitely going to do that later today, but the only item I needed was apple cider vinegar to do it. Then we went to Bath and Body and we got a new like hand soap. We got the, our bath what flavor is this? White pumpkin. We yeah. have this candle too and we really like the smell. So we thought, oh, we'll get that yes. seasonal. And then I just got some Sephora like beauty items that I ran out of. I used this like Briogeo scalp oil. It's really good. I needed a new concealer, so I'm gonna try the Kosas one because I has love it. that one. That's the one I have, and I love it. Yeah, I have the Anastasia brow gel, which I really needed, and I I tried this like a sample size once, and it's amazing. But yeah, that's everything we got. Just some like necessities, things we were out of, and a few things we wanted for like cooking or trying and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go back to editing the YouTube video, and maybe Gabby's gonna pickles. So. Yeah, I'm gonna work, but first I'm gonna make the pickles because it's okay. just easy. I make like refrigerator pickles, so it's like super easy. You just need a jar and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so like Shanna said, I'm about to make some refrigerator pickles. I'm gonna make bread and butter pickles because that's what Shanna really likes. You basically just need a pickle jar. So I got this one at like a dollar store near us, but I know they have these at Target. You need a cucumber, check. You need brown sugar, check. <laughs> White sugar, Shanna. Shanna! Shanna! You also are gonna need mustard seed. Um, this is the one that I have from Whole Foods. It'd be better if you found like not the ground one, but I can never find it, so I just use this, and it tastes exactly the same, so it's more for looks, I guess. Um, and you need apple cider vinegar, and that's pretty much it, and I'm just gonna show you how you do it. It's super easy. getting ready because we're going to an event tonight in New York City with Mavi Jean. We've actually worked with them like for like the past two years kind of on our um, Instagram. So we love their stuff but they're actually having an event tonight in New York City and they invited us so kindly and they also sent us both some jeans to wear to the event and they sent us this like little note that goes with that that just says like Hi Gabby and Shannon, it's how you'll find your Mavi jeans from the denim brand's FW21 collection. Can't wait to see you at the event and rock your Mavi jeans. So, so excited about this. Okay, so we're pretty much almost ready now. We have our Mavi jeans on. I have these black ones on. You can see the little logo right there. <laughs> but we don't really have like a good full length mirror in our apartment to show you like our full office when you're working on it. We need to get one. That's on our to-do list. Yeah, we'll try and take a good video clip of it somewhere. But I have like these like blue like boot cut ones, which is actually cool because I don't have any boot cut jeans. Yeah, and I'm just wearing these black like mom style jeans. But basically we're just going to finish doing like Gabby's hair and some makeup and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we're at the Hotel 50 roof. I think it's Bowery Hotel 50. I don't know the name of this hotel. We'll put it on I the think screen. It's Bowery. 
Bowery Hotel 50. But the rooftop bar is called the Crown, and this is the view. Like, that is the Empire State Building. This is like one of the most incredible views we've ever had in New York, and we're from here, so we've yeah. seen so many variations of different views, but this one is like nice in all directions. It's, it's insane. So, cool. so highly recommend coming here and checking that out. The event last night was so much fun. Yeah, literally best views we've ever had. It was mm -hmm. so crazy. It was so much fun. Um, but this morning we were up a little bit earlier than normal because we're going to the gym. Um, we have not been to the gym in a really long time, mostly because we've been traveling for the last month. Um, but we're excited to go because we haven't been in a while. I feel like we need a good little workout sesh. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back from the gym. It was so nice. We worked out for like an hour and then did some weights, but it was really nice just because it's been so long, like I said, since we went that it felt so good to go back. And on the way home, we went and went to Whole Foods to get like a few necessities, like some vegan bacon and stuff. They just didn't have at Trader Joe's. And look what we got. Plants, fall plants. We got a chrysanthemum and I really cannot pronounce what this one's called. It's called a calancho. Anyway, so frickin' Pretty, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go put these on our fire escape right now. Good morning, everyone. So it is the next day now. Today is Thursday. We're starting this clip like a little bit later in the day. It's like lunchtime right now. Yeah, I just made us like like a like vegan chicken salad kind of thing. But this morning, basically, we had to film like a different branded YouTube video. So we were doing that, and obviously, you cannot film two videos at the same time. <laughs> so we had to like pause the vlog momentarily, but. Now we're back and um, we just took a little break for lunch. We were watching The Circle. Um, so good. The new season. If we're you obsessed. don't watch The Circle, we're so obsessed with The Circle. I always am like, Shanna, I think that we should go on that show one day. It would be so fun. But it's I don't so know funny. how you do that, but we love watching it. It's so entertaining and just like so funny. Go watch it. So now what we're gonna do is we actually have to film some TikToks. Like we have to film a branded TikTok, like for a brand, but also we need to film TikToks like just in general for us. Um, so we'll show you, show you a little bit of that and then later today we're getting a special delivery from this new vegan, uh, well this new donut place in Brooklyn but they happen to have vegan donuts and they're going to give us some vegan donuts. Yeah, so when they come we'll tell you more about that. It's based in Brooklyn and they have a Kickstarter going to kind of fund what they're doing so we'll also link that down below later when we talk about it. Maybe I can get Gabby to clean out our closet today. I don't know about that. That's not happening. <laughs> Maybe it will. You woke me up before 8 a.m. So I'm going to say no. Maybe. <laughs> so this is where we film all of our TikToks because the light from that window is really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell. Look at the light on us. Yeah. Like, basically, our bedroom gets really nice light in the early morning, and then by like this time, like 12 o'clock lunchtime, this room gets the best light for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, so we also, you probably noticed that we film a lot of YouTube videos like in, in here too, because this spot has amazing light. Um, so we're gonna film um, some TikToks right now. We like to do our TikToks like all in a row, because yeah. it's just a little bit easier. Sometimes we'll like change outfits, sometimes we'll do like just a few, and then another day do another few, because you kind of have to keep up with it. We finished filming our TikToks. I edited some of those TikToks, and then because we're done filming for the day, I decided to put on some comfy clothes. So I put on like comfy shorts and like a longer sleeve shirt, and I put my glasses back on. But we are still waiting for the donut delivery. I think it's gonna come in like an hour or so. But somehow, I convinced Gabby to go through our closet together because that is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Because I feel like on, the, on our last few trips, we like bought some stuff, and then whenever we buy new things in our apartment, we have to get rid of like some older things because we don't have a lot of space. We're running out of hangers, so we definitely need to go through our closet. Yeah, we definitely do need to go through the closet, but convinced is a really strong word. She basically said, I'm doing it, and I said, I will do it with you if I can just lay in the bed and you show me things and I say yes or no. So, so that's, that's what's what, gonna happen. That's what we're doing. So let's make this quick. Our closet 
closet and drawers and clothes and stuff. So this pile here is like the pile that we think we're gonna try and donate because we think that like they might take some of those pieces at like the thrift stores by us. Yeah, so basically we'll go through and like put the things in a pile that we think like could sell mm -hmm. and then things that are like ripped or old or whatever that we don't. So this is the other pile that we're just gonna put in like a donation bin somewhere. So for the donation bin, we put it in a garbage bag and then for the stuff for the thrift store, we put it in a tote bag. So I'm gonna do that now. Do it! Also, Rascal came and is just sitting right by all of our stuff. I hope you don't think we're packing. He's so cute. We're not packing. No vacation for mommies. So freaking excited. We needed it so badly because we were totally crashing on our couch after working all afternoon. <laughs> so we need a little bit of a sugar rush. All right, so this is a new company based in Brooklyn and they're called Bite Donuts and they make like little mini bite-sized donuts but all of the rainbow ones, I'm gonna try and get closer, are actually vegan and I'm so excited because it's really hard, at least in New York, to get vegan donuts. Yeah, and she was telling us that the rainbow donuts, which are called the gay donut, is like a new thing that they just added and that one is vegan and we are just so excited to try it. This business is actually queer owned and they're having a Kickstarter online right now to raise money for them to basically do like a a, like a to your door delivery service of like a little donut bite box. So it's so freaking cute and we're so ready to try it. So taste test. Taste test. Okay, so I'm obviously trying the vegan one, the gay donut. And I'm gonna have a chocolate chai donut. Oh my God, look at the shape of this donut. It's literally, How? wait, there you go. It's literally a baby donut. How cute is this? This is like perfect when you want a bite. A bite, get it? Bite. But uh, you don't want a whole donut necessarily. Okay, ready? So let's do it. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, yes. Delicious. This is perfect because I was starting to get hangry. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so good. You have to go support this business, especially if you love donuts. We're going to leave a Kickstarter down below. I think we're also going to end our weekly vlog here. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed another weekly vlog from us. We love filming. These are so much fun and so different than our travel videos and <laughs> stuff too. But um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon with another video. Bye. Bye. Bye.